March's update on our solar stats and our costs. You can freeze these next two frames if you want to know our setup at home. And we have been using infrared heating throughout the 2021-22 um, heating seasons. On the 1st of March, we've moved to Intelligent Octopus Tariff, um, which is 23.5 pence standing charge and 7.5 pence off peak and 32.5 pence peak times. Our energy usage or our home usage for March was 1,624.5 kilowatt hours, which was an average of 52.5 kilowatt hours per day. We had a low of 14.5 kilowatt hours and a high of 102.2 kilowatt hours. From the solar, we got 809.5 kilowatt hours. Our worst day was 3.5 kilowatt hours. And our best day was 46 kilowatt hours, which has given us an average of 26.1 kilowatt hours per day. From the power wall, we got 478.6 kilowatt hours, and that's averaging 15.4 kilowatt hours. And our net grid usage was 871.6 kilowatt hours. We had plenty of excess solar in March, and we diverted 91 kilowatt hours of that excess solar to the water. And a massive excess solar of 170 kilowatt hours um, went into the cars. According to the Tesla app, we were 60% self powered throughout March. And our solar was 49% of our home usage. And our inverter breakdown, so across the three inverters, the original inverter got 350.2 kilowatt hours. We got 340.5 kilowatt hours for the other three kilowatt inverter. Our new 1.2 kilowatt inverter on our old original panels produced 118.8 kilowatt hours. So that's a total of 809.5 kilowatt hours measured at the inverters. We put a total of 276.7 kilowatt hours into the cars. Um, and that was at a cost of eight pounds, and that was to do 880 miles. We did 360 miles in the MG5 and 520 miles in the e-Golf. Our total cost for electricity in March was 89 pounds and 85 pence, including any daily charge and VAT, um, and that was for the 872 kilowatt hours that we pulled from the grid. We got 809.5 kilowatt hours from the solar. So that gave us an average cost per kilowatt hour from what we drew from the grid of 10.3 pence per kilowatt hour. And the average cost per kilowatt hour, including the solar through March, was 5.3 pence per kilowatt hour. Our yearly averages, now including the solar, are 6.8 pence per kilowatt hour, and that's on the intelligent tariff that we mentioned earlier. The home usage of 1,624.5 kilowatt hours in March, 41% um, of that went on the heating at 507.7 kilowatt hours at a cost of £52.43. 14% pence. 14 of it went on the car charging at 276.7 kilowatt hours at a cost of £8. We exported 30.5 kilowatt hours. 19% um, of it went on hot water of 310 kilowatt hours at a cost of 14.89 pence. Sorry, 14 pounds and 89 pence. Um, and 219 of them came from the grid. Our general home usage came to 324 kilowatt hours or 20% at a cost of 22 pounds and 3 pence. The fridge freezer used 31.3 kilowatt hours or 2% of the home usage at a cost of £2.12. Washing and drying clothes came to 3% of 60.5 kilowatt hours at £4.11. Um, the dryer does use more than the washing machine at 37.1 kilowatt hours, where the washer used 23.4 kilowatt hours. 3% of the energy went on cooking. 
for 44.7 kilowatt hours at a cost of three pounds and three pence and we will be adding another section to the pie um, in april because we've moved to electric hob now and the actual gas it's completely gone and finally the dehumid dehumidifier used 36.3 kilowatt hours or two percent of the home usage at a cost of two pounds and 35 pence and when we had our heating together throughout 20, 2021 heating season to 2022 um, we've now got a total usage in our heating of 4,443.2 kilowatt hours and it's cost us £328.96. And to summarise up to the end of March 2022, we've now been grid free for 10 days. We've travelled 2,164 miles at a cost of £35.65. We've imported 4,687 kilowatt hours. We've had a solar contribution of 1,616.7 kilowatt hours. So that's, that's a total electricity of 6,303.7 kilowatt hours. And that's cost us £422.31. We've had a gas cost of £21.32. And that won't go up at all now. Um, from now on because we are gas free the gas meter has been removed and that's a total cost um, throughout of 2022 of 443 pounds and 63 pence up until the end of march that is we've had one fit payment totaling 203 pounds and 60 pence so that's brought us our balance up until the end of march um to 240 pounds and three pence and that's including any VAT and daily charge for all of our energy in in the home and also for our travelling and the electric cars. As usual, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. And if you've got any comments, please add it to the section below. And I'll leave you with the Tesla home usage data from the app um, through, on a day-by-day -day basis.